Hello World History B students, this is Mr. Goyette um, reviewing with you our Unit 7 content information you will need to review in order to perform well and um, complete your coursework for this unit and uh, as well as the discussions and um, class live chats. So let's talk about uh, some material that will prepare you most of all for the assessment at the end of the unit. Um, what I'm going to go over here are uh, the concepts from chapter 35. So let's begin by discussing what prompted the Brazilian government to open up the Brazil Brazil's political system. What was happening at the time, as uh, your chapter points out, the beginning of chapter 35. This is on page 1034, is that the country was going through a recession. So the economy fell into recession. And by the early 1980s, a recession or slowdown in the economy gripped Brazil. At that point, the generals decided to open up the political system. They allowed direct elections of local, state, and national officials. And then in 19, um, let's see, 1985, a new civilian president, Jose Sarni, took office. Sarni inherited a country in crisis because of foreign debt and inflation. This begins on page 1034. Next thing you're going to want to look at is uh, what sort of uh, key elements do you are required to foster democracy or to build democracy in some of these regions uh, or in countries in general. And the book, the textbook focuses on free elections, citizenship population, majority rule or uh, and minority rights. So while you need to have majority rule, you have to have certain rights for the, for the minority as well. And you have to have a constitutional government. Um, this is all review can all be reviewed on page 1033. Uh, a key element that's not mentioned there, um, that's not required, according to your text, is the uh, executive office or the presidency. What happened after the Nigerian military promised to bring back civilian rule in 1993? Remember this, uh, the return to civilian rule on page uh, 1042 covers this. And at this time, a popular civilian was elected president, but then the military threw him in jail. Uh, this led to, um, uh, or this is what happened after the military promised to bring back civilian rule. You need to review apartheid. And uh, if, you haven't, if you're not already familiar with the story of Stephen Biko, or Nelson Mandela. Um, it's something that you should definitely review. Uh, I believe um, there's some, been excellent um, movie performances of people who've played Biko. Uh, I'll get some movie titles to you, but I believe there's a movie just called Biko. Uh, but read the book; it's excellent. Uh, this one, this particular book, is by Donald Woods. And uh, there are whole selections of writings on apartheid. This is a collection of writings of South African, on uh, South African racism and South Africans. This particular one is by, uh, by Alex Laguma. Uh, it's simply entitled Apartheid. The subject is interesting because uh, it parallels to um, uh, African or uh, Af South African apartheid and segregation in the United States are interesting to discuss um, and uh, also to discuss um, self-rule and building democracies when you have race issues and how difficult that is. You can review apartheid on page 1043 and what you need to focus in on is that uh, South African it was South African policy separating the races. It was essentially segregation. Under which program did Gorbachev attempt to modify the economic structure of the Soviet economy by allowing some private enterprise? This was called perestroika. This is a perestroika is economic restructuring. 
local managers were able to gain control of setting prices. Uh, they were gain, gave more control over uh, running their own um, factories and shops. You can review this on page 1047. What caused two Germanys to reunify? The reunification is begins on a discussion of reunification begins on page 1054 and of course the cause here was the fall of communism in East Germany. The first uh, Russian Republic uh, president to be elected was Boris Yeltsin. This is reviewed on page 1048 for you. The Bosnian Serbs used violence to rid uh, Bosnian, uh, Bosnia of its Muslims. This was uh, called the uh, this this uh, ethnic cleansing can uh, is reviewed on page 1056. And let me review that. We talked about genocide a lot. We talked about the Armenian genocide at the beginning of World War II. Uh, this was yet another systematic attempt to kill off. Uh, or violently drive out a people. Uh, you can review this on page 1056 as I just mentioned. During the war, Serbian military forces used violence and forced immigration or emigration with an E, E-M-I-G-R-A-T-I-O-N, against Bosnian Muslims living in Serbian held lands. Called ethnic cleansing, this policy was intended to rid Bosnia of its Muslim population. By 1995, the Serbian military controlled 70% of Bosnia. Let's see, what was what was it called when Bosnian Serbs used violence? That's at the cleaning. With the four modernizations on page 1060, progress in agriculture, industry, defense, and science and technology. Agriculture, industry, defense, science, and technology. These are the four modernizations brought forth for you on page 1060 by, uh, these are economic reforms uh, as part of the legacy of Mao, Mao Zedong. What led Chinese students to demand democratic reform? This is the top of page 1061. Economic reforms that allowed Western ideas into China. Now if you look at page 1061 it says here, uh, new Policies admitted not only Western investments and, tour and tourists, but also Western political ideas. Increasing numbers of Chinese students studied abroad and learned about the West. In Deng's view, the benefits of opening the economy exceeded the risks. Nevertheless, the Chinese students learned more about democracy. They began to question China's lack of political freedom. This is a topic top of page 1061. What prompted the generals in Argentina to, set, to step down and allow free elections? Uh, check the middle of page 1039 third paragraph. Um, which of the following were obstacles to Latin American nations establishing democratic governments? They all, these were all those problems. The, all the problems were, or things that did not allow the Latin American nations to establish democratic governments were powerful militaries, single crop economies, and sharp class divisions. Powerful militaries, single crop economies, and sharp class divisions. This all can be reviewed on page 1034. 1034. I'll do two more questions. I may have to pause to break this up into two sections. Which of the following events did not contribute to the fall of Berwyn Wall? Well, you'll remember uh, um, Gorbachev wanted to discuss reunification. It never happened. Um, and the governments of East and West Germany began to discuss reunification. No, they did not. So on page 1049, the bottom of the page, it talks about how even though he wanted to discuss reunification, it never happened. So the thing that did not happen was that the governments of East and West Germany began to discuss reunification. Trade restrictions, um, other than trade restrictions, so what was the another way that foreign nations opposed South Africa's policy of apartheid? Um, you can review this on page 1034. Um, it was the exclusion from the Olympics, the Olympic Games, page 1034. So the other nations did not allow them to monitor. I will stop here. Be right back.